Well, finally, every state has its official bird, flower, tree, and so forth. And in Tennessee, kids at schools can learn about their state symbols thanks to a painting created by a Dixon artist. He's Tennessee's artist in residence, and Rob Wiles pays him a visit. Here in Tennessee, we have lots of state symbols. We have a state bird, the mockingbird. We got a state tree, the tulip poplar. We even got a state rock. No, that's not the state rock. The state rock is limestone. Well, lots of states may have symbols like that, but Tennessee may be the only state that has an official state picture. Michael Sloan was the very first artist in residence in Tennessee, though he downplays that honor a bit. Given to me at the unveiling of the Pride of Tennessee, which was the official painting for Tennessee's Bicentennial. And Governor Ned McWhorter and the General Assembly all conferred this honor on me. And I was very thankful and felt real honored because of that. And I kept that title for a period of 10 years. Of course, Michael's artistic career began long before that honor. From the time I was about three years old, uh, my father would have to paint the walls up so high about every six months because I'd just color on them with crayons. Evidently, I don't remember it ever being punished for it, so they thought, well, you know, if he likes to color, let him color it. Good thing, too, because Michael grew up to be asked to paint, among other things, the official symbols of the state. We talked about, you know, how to approach it and how to do it, and I just said, well, you know, let me do some research because I was fairly ignorant on what the actual state symbols for the state were, as most people are, I guess, and uh, I certainly was. So uh, it was an educational process for me, and then I just approached it from, you know, making it as natural looking scene as possible instead of, you know, stuff just stuck everywhere, kind of cluttering up things and all that. Of course, Michael is known for all kinds of paintings, landscapes, and portraits, which he particularly enjoys, since there's more to a portrait than simply drawing a good likeness of, say, a football player like Roy Dell Williams. When you are doing a portrait, you have to be very disciplined uh, with your eye in terms of seeing how one shape of your face is going to relate to another part of it. And all those have to be put together proportionately and accurately as shapes first before you can come up with an image that is a true likeness of, of who that individual is. Even the more critical part for me is trying to instill some character that that person may possess into that portrait. A lot of times portraits I have noticed lack that element and to me if you're going to be a true portrait artist, you have to capture a little bit of that person's life force, so to speak, that character that they possess. For me, that's the most difficult part and the one that if I can accomplish that to my own satisfaction, I feel like I have really created something special in a portrait. Still, there is something pretty special about painting those state symbols knowing that school children across Tennessee are looking at and learning from his work. I think it's great, but I'm visually oriented anyway from the aspect of it just not being just a, a picture. It, it does have something to convey in terms of knowledge, and I think it's a, a good learning tool. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh, hey. good. Michael's work is on display in galleries like this one, run by his wife, Melanie, and he knows there'll be more paintings in the future. There is a lot of satisfaction in it. If I could not earn a dime from it, I, I would still have to do it. There's something that compels me to want to paint. Somebody recently, uh, we were just having casual conversation, and they were talking about, well, they were getting ready to retire. <laughs> I said, well, good luck. <laughs> I said, uh, I'll never retire. I said, I can't imagine not painting. You know, when I kick the bucket, they'll just come and lift me up off the desk or wherever I fell by my easel, and they'll carry me out, and that'll be it. <laughs> but I'm not retiring. <laughs> 
it's that critical for my life and that much fun too. Which is good news since we almost certainly are going to need updated versions of our state's symbols. And who better to create them than the man who was the first artist in residence for our state, Michael Sloan of Dixon.